Dead or alive, we're getting the clear. Sorry, guys. Had to say it. There are so many, like, one-liners in this movie. What was it? Uh, I'd buy that for a dollar. I don't know. I can't remember them all. But uh, I love this movie. And I love this video game. And today, we're playing it on the Mister. Just came out. My man, Jotago. He just released this. I patronize him. Give him that three bucks. And uh, he just released this a couple days ago, man. And... Pff, it's, it's just serendipitous. So I've been putting off playing this game for a while because I wanted to play it on the Mister. Because when I play it on my CRT ME driver retro arc final burn Neo setup, there's a it's just not very sharp. And I thought, oh, man, I wonder if I play it on the Mister, like when a core comes out, if it'll be sharper. And I just been waiting and waiting and this is like this game's right up my alley. It's a memorizer It's kind of slow and methodical platformer doesn't take very long to clear It's one of my favorite movies da 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 so I just I've been really wanting to play this game and get it clear But I've been putting it off waiting for a mister core to come out and I couldn't wait any longer So I started playing it like two weeks ago working on the clear and then I'm hanging out in bed one night and I get a, a email saying that friggin' Jotago just happened to release this core right when I'm working on it. So it's, it just really hyped me to finish it and try to get this video out on time because uh, I'm sure people are hyped about this release right now. And just to be part of it is it's really fun. And so uh, like I said, when I played it on CRT Emmy driver, it's not that sharp. Oh, by the way, I've already started my run. Um, we'll talk about the game in a minute, but I got some other stuff to get into. And this game takes like 25 minutes, so we got some time. But uh, yeah, so when I play this on anything else, I played it on RetroPie, CRT, ME Driver. I always play on CRTs, but it's not a sharp game. Like the, the image is, is kind of fuzzy. And it's, it is sharper on the Mister, but not by a whole lot. <laughs> it's just a little bit sharper. It looks a little bit better. And oh man, we'll talk about the recording here in a minute. I had trouble recording this, but let's, uh, let's talk about the game here. Like, okay, so I was gonna call this a no death run, but it's kind of cheating because you only get one life in this game. There's no extends. You know, every one credit clear on this game is also a no death one. And like I said, it's slow and methodical. Those chainsaw dudes will take, I think, three health when they hit you. Most other enemies, they just take one bar of health. Um, there is no um, hit and vulnerability. Like after you get hit, you're not invulnerable. So like a lot of these enemies will shoot like a series of four bullets out at once. And if you're parked in the wrong spot, you're gonna eat four hits at once. And like your run can be over with like two mistakes. Ah, excuse me, how to wet the whistle. We're drinking Guinness tonight, boys. But um, yeah, oh, check this out, man. I swear, sometimes uh, that chick will get killed and you'll game over. I swear that happened to me once. I don't know if I shot her or that dude shot her. Maybe someone snuck up and, and offed me from behind and I didn't realize it, but. Yeah, so you get that triple shot in this game. You see that triple shot I just picked up? That triple shot, if you're really close, the enemy will eat all three hits. And I've seen speed runs where guys use that. Like this chainsaw dude, if you wait for him to get in your face, you can unload three hits into him at once. And it does heavy damage. But it's a really hard strat to use. Like I've seen guys use it on the boss, on bosses in this game, and I tried doing it. And it'll work, but it's risky, so. Like on bosses, it's typically easier to just have your regular fire. Like your regular fire in this game works very well to the point where you don't, you could like no weapon this game. Well, I say that, but the Cobra gun really comes in handy. This big ass gun. Uh, yeah, we haven't got it yet. We'll pick it up on the next level. But uh, before the next level where we talk about that Cobra gun, we got to talk about this bonus stage. So this bonus stage, man, on different versions of this game, it feels like the bonus stage is easier or harder. And this particular ROM I'm using with the Mister, it's harder, it feels, than when I play it on RetroArch on my Final Burn Neo ROM. I don't know what's up with that, but 
I don't always. Okay, so you need to get 100%. You need to hit every item on the screen. And if you do, you get, it'll refill all your health and it'll also extend your health. And there's two of these bonus stages. And if you get 100%, you'll extend your health uh, significantly. And I think you could get away with just extending your health once. But like if I don't get 100% on this first um, bonus stage here, I'm going to reset it. And you can fire the gun as much as you want. Like, it won't penalize you. So you can just keep firing and firing and mashing. But, and like at the end, if there's a couple of targets on the screen when it, it's over, it's okay. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But, uh, okay, here. Okay, so, I don't know if you noticed, but like there's some moray pattern going on right here on this level. Like on my recording, I'm recording off a of CRT. I had such a hard time recording this shit, guys. Like, oh man, like, so I'm recording on the Mister, which is difficult in and of itself. And this game has a funky refresh rate. So I had to like play with all kinds of different frame rates. I think I'm recording at like 50, 1080p at like 50 frames per second. Cause 60 just will get a rolling bar and strobing. and. So there's that, and the 1080p, I'm just not really happy with it. Like, there's like, it's kind of blurry. Like, there's, it feels like a low resolution. I really want to record at like 1040p or something. And like, throughout my recording, you'll see like on this level here, I actually will adjust the focus and put it a little bit more out of focus. And then on a darker level, I'll like, I was jumping up off of my couch or my bed and, and coming over and turning the folk, like, focusing it more for the dark level so it would look a little sharper because I just was really not happy with how this recording came out but it's as good as it was gonna get man like, go look at my double dragon and how sharp that is like yeah okay so anyways this cobra gun here you want to try and not use the bullets like you'll see me punching guys so I'm not using ammo so that when you get to the last when you get to the boss see I have seven bullets left on my cobra gun because it takes this boss out in two hits. Boom. And yeah, so the next boss is really hard to beat. I say that, but I actually beat him with only like one Cobra gun bullet. You don't need the Cobra gun on the bosses, but I've mapped the game out to use it. And um, yeah, I just got used to using it. Yeah, so I talked about the Cobra gun, the triple shot. There's also this double shot gun, and that's my favorite weapon. I prefer it over the triple shot, but uh, I do pick up the triple shot whenever I get a chance to get it. Okay, so these ladders, man, there's some Castlevania shit going on here where the ladders are like your worst enemy. Like right here, I'm trying to like, like duck down, but like I'll get stuck on the ladder, man. Like, I don't know if I get stuck on the ladder a lot on this playthrough, but you'll freaking like right here like i want to aim my gun up and shoot these grenades but if you do that you'll walk up the ladder right there and and you'll just get handled like you can't jump when you're on the ladder my son says this game looks cursed like it's a cursed image because he says the walk animation and it just looks clunky i actually like how clunky it looks like robocop does move clunky and the controls in this game i think are sweet like when you jump, you have control over your jump. You can like stutter it. You can like move backwards, go back and forth in your jump. Like it is slow and he is clunky, but you do have control. Yeah. What else to talk about here as far as strats, man? I, don't, I mean, there's a couple health refills. There's no extends. You know, what else to say? Like, you can just watch my playthrough. I think a more interesting to talk, uh, thing to talk about is the movie, man. Like, so this movie, RoboCop, the first one, is one of my favorite movies of all time. And, I mean, there's just so much to say. So, when I was a kid, I just thought it was like a an action flick, like with good guys and bad guys. And I just loved it. And, you know probably shouldn't have been watching it because it's pretty uh graphic but i was but um 
yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, Robocop's the good guy and he beats the drug dealers and he saves the president of the corporation and it's a happy ending. And, you know, I like that and, and just the visuals, like the special effects are amazing. It's a, this, uh, it's a spectacle. It's a good movie to look at. Um, and all of that, you know, reached me as a child. And then as a teenager, I like, I liked all the the satire on consumerism like it makes fun of commercials and people are like zombies looking at TVs and you know the I buy that for a dollar stuff like all that was really appealing to me as a kid or excuse me as a teenager and uh, as an adult like there's like some philosophical stuff going on in the movie like so the corporation, Omnicorp, and just to stop right there, it's like a symbol of a C with a circle around it. Like it's encompassing everything. And that's what Omni, and just the name Omni, like I think Omni means like everywhere at once. So Omnicorp buys up the police department. And in the movie, it seems like people have made peace with the fact that it's kind of like a charter school, except it's a charter police department where the government pays this Omnicore to run the police because the state can't do it anymore, which is creepy to think of like Walmart running the police department or Amazon, but that's what happens in the movie. And they're actually past that in the movie. They're to the point where Omnicore is trying to buy Detroit and like it's gonna run the city, like the state isn't gonna run it anymore. It's, it's, it's a corporate run, Walmart run city and Amazon city. Now that I'm saying that, I think Amazon's already talking about doing that. Or is it Amazon? I don't know. But, uh, so that happens. And then they're not even done with that. Like, they want your fucking soul, dude. Like, this dude, um, I forget his name, but whoever the Robocop character is, dies, and they tell him that he's the property of Omnicore, and they cut up his soul, and they toss out his memories and everything they don't want, his dick, fucking, you know his personality and they just want his training and his reflexes and they want to put it in this robot so they dice up his soul and put it in this robot and fucking omnicore owns your soul dude like that's fucking dark <laughs> it's really dark like look at that symbol that c with the o around it like encircling everything man like that's not a mistake like that's some good writing and the funny thing is is like the guy that when they made the movie like if you're not paying attention you won't notice that it's not they don't hit you over the head with it like they do with movies now like they play it like it's a dumb action flick with the music and all the story beats but there's some underlying shit going on guys like go watch that movie again and, and think about what i said yeah like so check it out like there's a villain the villain in the movie is this drug dealer and at the end, they kill the drug dealer and they save the president of Omnicore and they play it up like that's a happy ending. And that's not a good ending. That's really sad. Like when I watch it now, it's disturbing. Like the drug dealer is not really that bad. You're better off with the drug dealer. Yeah, he wants to sell drugs and do some gangster shit, but he don't want your soul like Omnicore. And uh, yeah, man, you're better off with that dude than, than the president. So they, they set the president free. And they like him and Robocop make peace, but that dude freaking chopped up Robocop's soul. Like, how can they like shake hands? But whatever, whatever, man. I don't want to get too philosophical because this is a gameplay video. So, uh, yeah, what else to say here, man? Like, so one interesting thing about this game is the first level isn't that hard, but um, after that, like after the uh, the first uh, bonus stage. The rest of the game, none of the levels are really any harder than the rest. Like, the last level isn't that hard. This level here isn't that hard. I say not that hard. They're all kind of hard. But none are really harder than the rest. So if you can get through, like, stage two, you can get through the whole game, basically. So this boss here, you'll see I kind of parked, like, right to the left of that Omnicore symbol. I let him shoot three times, and then I jumped towards him, and then duck back shoot three times and that's kind of a strat you'll use in this game is like advancing and retreating on these uh these walkers they kind of look like the walkers from from star wars like 
those things in the jungle that walk on two legs. I want to call them ATSTs. I'm kind of embarrassed that I know the name of that. <laughs> like ATSD, ATSD. Like I got like a red letter medium moment going on in my head right now. Feeling kind of nerdy. Yeah. But yeah, like, okay, at the beginning of this level and the next level, you got to like take this shit out really quick and then advance forward. Or you'll get like your life drained right away. Yeah. And these like, these laser beam things that shoot those red laser beams down, I try to take those out with the Cobra gun because they can drain a shitload of health. But really like this level and the last level aren't any harder than any of the other levels in the game. And the bosses are all, they all kind of have a similar pattern. And the boss on this level, you can cheese. We'll talk about that when we get there. Um, yeah, so like recording off the mister, man. Let's talk about that for a minute. So, yeah, like, like this game has a bunch of more ray. Like it has very solid backgrounds. Like, like look at the, like this level right here. There's not a lot of texture in the backgrounds. Like, like in a game, it's like a jungle or a cave, like with a bunch of leaves or rock patterns. It really hides the moray and you can't see it. But on this game, like you got these solid, like metallic corporate office buildings and you can just see a shitload of moray. And then in the levels that are bright, like with the blue sky, I got to put it really out of focus to get rid of the moray. And then if I put it too out of focus, like you can't even see scan lines. And it's like, well, what's the point of even recording off the CRT at that point? So I was really struggling to like, to record this. And, and then I, you know, so I was like, like, do I put it too out of focus? This had been a game that would have benefited probably from just recording off of um, RetroArch and setting it to 60 and like using like a 1440p because I couldn't record this. I tried to record it in 1440p, which will give me a crisper image, but it just, it wouldn't sync. I would get all of these um, like rolling bars and, and flashing patterns, no matter what frame rate I put it at. And I tried like a bunch of different um, frame rates and like 1080p at like 50 was like, yeah, and I'm not even at 60 hertz. So like it's gotta be at 50. So this game must have like a weird refresh rate. And it's pretty old, it's a 1988 game. So I mean, a lot of those old games, they do got some funky stuff going on and they're not the sharpest. 1988, man. That might be the oldest game that I've done a playthrough on and recorded on this channel. Let's see, I think Shinobi is like 89. Street Fighter 2 is um, 91. But yeah, man, recording this was, was interesting. I'm starting to find that uh, there isn't like a one-size-fits-all way to record games. Like, you know, if you're recording these old games with these old refresh rates, like... You know, maybe sometimes it's better to actually record on RetroArch. I think it would have been in this case because I could have used a better, like I said, I could have used a, a superior like um, frame rate. I could have used a superior uh, uh, resolution. Oh, right here, there's a trick. Like you can hit stun and then walk through this dude. And then I took two hits on him. Like, I don't know. Like, I took two hits on him. So I might have been better off just fighting him outright. But whatever. This is how I mapped out playing. Or routed out playing this. And I kind of like exploits like this. So if I can find them, I try to use them. I don't, they're, they're fun. And then this guy, he's got like a Cobra gun of his own. So as soon as he starts walking back, I advance towards him. And then there's a rhythm, like he's gonna shoot three Cobra guns. So like duck, walk forward, duck. And you gotta you gotta give him enough space or he'll walk right over you and fuck you up. So you advance and then you gotta retreat. But while you're retreating, duck and like find that rhythm and he'll he'll fire three Cobra shots and then you'll you'll have him by the ass. 
These fucking ATST things, I forget what they're called in Robocop, but they're cool looking, man. Like, the special effects in Robocop were awesome. Like the Robocop himself, like his costume. In the first one, like I noticed in the other ones, they kind of cheaped out on it, but he looks fucking awesome in the first one. Like the, what do they call it? Practical special effects and the costume and makeup is, is pretty amazing. My wife says she's never seen it. We might actually watch it tonight. I'd be down for that. I haven't seen it in a while. But I've been thinking about it. Cause, uh, like I said, uh, just some corporate shit going on in, in the world. and I don't want to get too into it and get all political or nothing. But it, the movie came to my mind recently. That might be why I started playing it with like corporations like getting like a little bit too involved in our lives and, and maybe maybe uh, just uh, getting out of hand with, with their control and, and their power and influence in people's lives and it made me think about Robocop so I, I'm interested to watch it with my wife and see what she says if she's like oh that was a nice movie or if she like picks up on any of the like philosophical symbolism or anything you know it kind of reminds me of um Starship Troopers, how there's like an underlying like message going on. But I thought the Starship Troopers movie, like, it's got this kind of liberal, like, you know, the military industrial complex is, is bad and evil kind of thing going on. And it, it's supposed to be subtle, but I didn't really think it was that subtle. I thought it was pretty obvious. Whereas in Robocop, it's played pretty straight. Like, it's played like a dumb action movie. They're not, they're not really even winking at you. You gotta like, you gotta stop and think to like pick up the kind of the creepy corporate message it's got going on. I mean, I say that, but it is kind of silly. The movie isn't too serious, but that's kind of how movies were back then. They were tongue in cheek. Everything was kind of lighthearted. Whereas like, compare it to the new Robocop. I say new, new Robocop is probably like fucking 10 years old now, but the remake is just kind of dark and serious and there's no humor or fun in it which uh you know it's kind of a kind of a an example of our just kind of how things are now like a lot of movies aren't as much fun as they were back in the 80s things are a little bit more serious now i think okay yeah we're on the last level now and actually this last level i think is pretty easy like, I don't even, I don't know, I, it didn't take me, I haven't really routed it out, I just kind of wing it. Whereas the other levels, I had to, like, save state, and then, like, play them over and over again. I mean, this game took me, I think this is my third week working on it, my third weekend. Um, but I was kind of drunk, like, <laughs> the first two weekends. And then seeing Jotago, like, release the Mr you know, the Mr. Core, it lit a fire under my ass, and I sat down and, like, put in, like, two or three hours sober tonight, and figured it out, and then, and then beat it, and, um, in this case, when I beat it, like, I routed it out, and I, I knew how to beat every level in every section, and felt confident, but I hadn't beat it yet when I started recording it, so this recording here is my first time beating the game. Which, uh, for games like this, typically I wouldn't do that. I would just keep playing it and playing it. And when, then I, when I did actually beat it, I'd be like, okay, I got this game by the ass. Now I can um, start recording. But, uh, I don't know, I felt, my, I felt it coming on. I felt my, my uh, clear coming on. And I knew I was going to clear it soon. So I just started recording it. And that was kind of cool, like doing it that way. Because as I'm like recording it, I'm actually like looking at my recording and I wasn't like quite happy with it. So I would like change it from play like run to run. Like it took me like, I probably did like 10 runs before I got to clear. Oh shit, here's the last boss. I fucking get the last boss glitch. So there's a glitch. Like I'm trying to glitch him. Oh, see how the screen scrolled and I can follow him. If you can follow the screen, you can fucking walk past the last boss like I do right here. I don't know how to do it. Like... I just kind of like wiggle around 
when that guy comes out with the hostage, like you can fire your gun or you can just kind of stutter step and sometimes the screen will scroll. And if you see the screen scrolling, you can walk through and hit stun through the last boss and do what I just did right there. But I don't really fucking know exactly how to do that. Like I saw a guy do it online Fuck yeah. and I tried, like I sat there with save states and tried to replicate it consistently and could not do it. I would get it like one out of 10. So I routed out how to beat the last boss and he's actually fun to fight. Like it's kind of a bummer to, to just kind of cheese him like that. But it's so rare for me to actually get that that I thought it was cool to include in this run. And I couldn't help myself. When I saw the screen scroll, I was like, oh, oh, I just had to follow it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, I mean, fucking Joe Tago does it again. Um, he's the man. Robocop's the shit. Fucking go out there and beat you some hard games, boys.